heart stents. I've done many, many videos on heart stents um, to how long heart stents last or when I should put in a heart stent. So let's just talk about heart stents. Heart stents are, so basically what happens is we look, we go inside the arterial wall and if there is a plumbing problem, then we wanna put a heart stent in and open it up. Now, that's very important if you're having a heart attack. And the reason why I say that is because if you're having a heart attack, it's life-saving. If you're not having a heart attack, I don't know if that's, well, not, I don't know. The literature shows us now that it's not as valuable to do that, uh, to do a heart, uh, a heart stent on stable arteries. Why? Arteries are muscles, not pipes. And many people think of them like a plumbing system, like the, the kitchen sink pipes plumbing up and we gotta go in there and rotor it out and they're not pipes, they're, they're, it's, it's skin. In fact, inside lining of the arterial wall, is all skin it's called the endothelium and in fact that is the largest organ in your body many people think it's the skin inside the lining of the arterial wall is the largest organ in your body which is called the endothelium and if you just put in a heart stent on a preventative basis we don't see much benefit in doing that and again it's an invasive test to do and it's invasive to do and so we want to do that when so when do we put in a heart stent is if you're having a heart attack or if you're having such bad angina pain that you're not able to continue your, your, your activities that you wanna do. And, and I say that that way because there are a lot of other things that you can do on a preventative basis if you have stable artery disease. And so there's a difference between stable and unstable artery disease and I'm not always a fan of putting in a heart stent. And even the literature shows that it's super valuable to do when you're having an ST elevation MI, that's what I talked about in previous videos, and it's not as valuable, well, less. it gets less valuable for a non-ST elevation MI and then less valuable if you're having symptoms of heart disease. And so when you should put in a heart stent, that's something that you should be discussing all the options with your cardiologist and healthcare team because sometimes it may not always be valuable to do. And uh, remember heart stents, all you're doing with a heart stent is you're pushing, you still have artery disease, all you're doing is opening up that flow of the artery. And so you still have a heart, you do still have artery disease. And that's the most important thing is that that artery disease, the stent can reese the nose, it can close up, it can close, because you're putting it at different sections inside the artery. So it can affect the artery pre and post the, uh, in insertion. And so there are a lot of different things that can happen with a heart stent. Again, I can do, I can talk all day long about heart stents, when you should, when you shouldn't, valuable literature, all that part of it. So heart stents, are metal objects that go inside the artery and that's most important to do when you're having a heart attack or intolerable symptoms, intolerable symptoms to cardiovascular or, or heart disease if you're, if you're not even able to do your, go about your day. So that's when a heart stent would be valuable, not as valuable as on a preventative side of things. And the literature I'm specifically talking about started at the COURAGE trial in 2009 and, and there's been a decade of subsequent research to support that now. Um, including the latest that I have is the ischemia trial. So anyway, that's that's uh, that's what, uh, well, I could go on and on about heart stents, but I'll stop right there. So Diamond Fernandez here with the HeartFit Clinic. Looking forward to continue to help you live happier, healthier, and longer.